and in less than 24 hours, there have been at least two crashes involving pedestrians getting hit by vehicles, one of them deadly. Yeah, a person was killed in the Rhino neighborhood this morning, and there were witnesses in that case. And in a separate case, two Montpelo high school students were seriously hurt. Fox 31's Vicente Arena is joining us now with more. He joins us live. Vicente. Erica, we were at this location in the Rhino neighborhood not long after a man was hit and killed here. There was a tractor trailer driving along the street behind me when that man was hit and killed. Concern and questions after a man was hit and killed by a tractor trailer near the corner of 29th and North Arkans Court. This happened near an emergency shelter for the homeless and a construction site. Tim Beasley was standing nearby when the man was hit. I was right over here and all I heard was crying and yelling. Investigators say the pedestrian was on the shoulder of the road when he fell and was struck. Ray Folks says he saw it happen. The front left tire caught him. That's when he lost his balance and fell. Rear tire went right over. Investigators say the tractor trailer driver said they did not know a pedestrian had fallen into the roadway and was hit. This morning's death comes on the heels of another auto pedestrian incident near Montbello High School on Wednesday. Two students were struck and seriously hurt by a driver who police say left the scene. Some students now taking extra precautions. Especially since I got the skateboard. So. I gotta be careful with it because I know I could try to stop and then somebody could hit me. The intersection's unique and busy, neighbors say. We counted at least six places where vehicles have to stop in areas where there are both crosswalks and bike lanes. We're told it becomes especially busy when school lets out. And late this afternoon, Denver police told us that the driver that hit those students has since turned themselves in. And regarding that driver of the tractor trailer that hit and killed a man here this morning, that case is going to be turned over to the DA not clear if charges will be filed. Reporting live in Rhino, Vicente Arenas, Fox 31.